question is if g of 0 is equal to g of 1 is equal to 1 and g of n is equal to g of n minus 1 plus g of n minus 2, what is g of 6? So this a pattern is given, say what they say g of 0 and g of 1 is equal to 1 and g of n is given as g of n minus 1 plus g of n minus 2. So what will be, they ask what is g of 6. So g of 6 will be equal to the same pattern, you will have to apply like this, g of n minus 1 plus g of n minus 2. So g of 6 will be equal to, g of 6 will be equal to, g of n minus 1 becomes g of 5, g of 5 plus g of 4, plus g of 4. Now, I don't know what is g of 5, I don't know what is g of 4. So I'll add, I know only what is g of 0 and g of 1, so I'll have to bring it to g of 1 and g of 0. So g of 5 will be equal to g of 4, same pattern, g of n minus 1 to g of n minus 2 plus g of 3. Now g of 4 will be equal to g of 3 plus g of 2. g of 3 will be equal to g of 2 plus g of 1. And g of 2 will be equal to g of 1 plus g of 0. Now it has been given that g of 0 is equal to g of 1 is equal to 1. So g of 0 I know is 1. g of 1 will also be 1. So it will become 1 and 1. So 1 plus 1 will be equal to 2. So g of 2 will be equal to 2. Now that I know g of 2 and g of 1. So this will be 2 plus 1. This will be equal to 3. Then this is 3 plus 2. 3 plus 2 will become 5. This will be 5 plus 3 will be equal to 8. And 8 plus 5 will be equal to 13. So g of 6 is 13. This is the way of doing it. g of 6 is 13. This is the way of doing it. But the easy way of doing it is, see whenever I write any programming language, the first language, first will be, hello world, my name is, all this will be there. Then writing a program of swapping of numbers. Then be writing a number of some of the previous numbers, nothing but Fibonacci series. You know what is a Fibonacci series, you have done a program for Fibonacci series. You don't have to do it like this. The easier way of doing it is, see 0 is 1, 0 is 1, 1 is 1. What is given is 0 is 1, 1 is 1 is given. Then, ultimately 2 will become 1 plus 1, 2. 3 will be 2 plus 1, 3. 4 will be 5. 5 will be 8. And 6 will be 13. So try to understand the question. Instead of doing this so many steps, just do it like this, which will be very fast. And you can do more questions. You can get more marks in your APT exams. Subscribe to my channel. I will be adding more questions.